Hey guys, Jafar here. The Freight Train line is a new addition of Rust which allows players to quickly traverse the map and reach monuments. The tunnel contains additional loot boxes and dangerous NPC spawns, so come prepared with meds, ammo and fuel for your work car. Tunnel entrances can be found at or near all major monuments and along the roads close to fishing villages. You can easily locate these tunnel entrances by opening your map and identifying the train icon. Now you have located and arrived at the entrance, go down the first spiral of stairs and reach the elevator. If someone is camping at the main entrance you can always use the side door and go down some vents to reach the elevator. Trust me you will want to use the elevator unless you have a spare 5 minutes to run down a thousand steps. If the elevator isn't there when you arrive you can press the call elevator button to bring it back up or down to your location. However, you can use the elevator not being there as an advantage and get down the elevator shaft in a riskier but faster way. You'll want to jump into and hug the corner of the elevator shaft and slowly work your way down. I would recommend taking extra meds with you as you might take some fall damage. Within the elevator be careful of people around you as they can shoot you through the gaps or wait at the end. Once you are at the end of the first elevator you will need to traverse through some rooms which can contain up to 4 tunnel dwellers. Keep travelling forward until you reach a point where you can either go left or right. This doesn't matter as it will lead you to the same station just opposite sides of the train track. Now you will reach the second elevator, however it's not as big of a journey compared to the first. Now you have reached the ground floor and station you must be careful of the tunnel dwellers and other players while you locate the loot and work carts. Soon arriving will be bunkers which allow you to open and climb down into the tunnel system making them an additional way to get down away from monuments. The bunker holds multiple rooms to go through with one of them containing a computer allowing you to view a camera from above the entrance. The bunker can hold food boxes and contains radiation in a specific junk pile. To get down to the tunnels you'll want to use the elevator along with the spiral staircase. Up to 7 tunnel dwellers can be found within a station, 6 found within a barricaded tunnel room and possibly 4 within random parts of the tunnel where there are fake doors and pallets in the middle of the tunnel. The weapons the dwellers use include the M39 rifle and M92 pistol, so make sure to bring some meds and adequate protection. The dwellers have a max health of 125, making them easier to take down compared to some other scientist AI. It's common to take out these dwellers with just a crossbow and some cover. When looting them you can find components, meds, ammo, clothing, building items, tools, electrical components, weapons, attachments and even explosives. Loot crates spawn within the tunnel stations, barricaded rooms and random places within the tunnel itself. Each station has a completely different number of crates compared to each other. This is due to each station's box layout being slightly different due to the tunnels being randomly generated. However, for the stations I have identified 11 crate spawns which can either be normal, military or toolbox crates. The most crates in one looting I have seen is 9 boxes with 2 toolboxes. These crates and toolboxes will be found on top of pallets and boxes. For the barricaded rooms the most I have seen is 7 crate spawns, while the random boxes guarded by dwellers found within the tunnel can spawn up to 2 crates along with 1 toolbox. This is the loot I have received after looting a single station within the tunnel with just the chests, and this is the loot I have received after looting the chests and tunnel dwellers bodies. Within a tunnel you can expect to find 2 work carts that face opposite directions. However, during a typical wipe some of these carts will be taken by other players, so even if you find a work cart that is facing the wrong direction you can still drive backwards. These work carts run off low grade fuel and burn 4 low grade every minute when at high speed. Press W to turn on the work cart and monitor. Now you can see your available fuel and current speed mode which has 7 settings changed by tapping W or S. 3 movement modes are reserved for forward, 3 for reversing and 1 for no movement. Once moving you can navigate the tunnels by opening your map. You will get a different view compared to the ground level which allows you to see the stations, barricaded rooms and intersections. At intersections you can control which way the train turns using A and D for left and right. You will see an indicator appear on the monitor displaying which direction you would like to turn. If you make a mistake you can simply reverse back and turn the other way. When riding through the tunnels you will come across NPC barricades placed on the tracks. 
Your work cart will begin sounding an alarm if you're traveling too fast while close to a barricade. If you collide with a barricade at high speed, you'll damage your work cart, potentially destroying it. But if you hit the barricades at a slower speed, you can easily destroy them without damage. In total, your work carts have a health of 1000 and damages to it can cause it to slow down. You can repair the work cart with a hammer and metal fragments. When reaching a station or barricade, make sure to hop out of the driver's seat and take cover, as you now might encounter a group of scientists. Don't worry as the cart will continue driving even with the player outside of the driving seat. Use this tactic when you're entering stations that you plan on passing as there will be dwellers there waiting to shoot you. Each work cart has panels and guards to protect you from shots, so get out of the driver's seat and put your head down while you pass. If you end up falling off the work cart when it's driving, it will eventually come to a halt if there's no player on board. So continue running the way it was going and you'll reach it again. The work carts and tunnel system are a fast and safer way to traverse the Russ Island without the worry of roof campers. When traveling at full speed and with the protection of the work cart, players are unlikely to kill you even if you do end up running into them. The most recommended use for the tunnel system is getting to the outpost to sell and buy items with the ability to run back down and return home without too much risk. That's all for this video, thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.